<laughs> okay, so I'll try to look at uh, this compound exactly to just explain, uh, uh, to give you an, a picture so that you understand better. So basically, you need to know that hydrogen only has got the S orbital. So in its all bonds, we expect that it will just be S. All right. So when you talk about this bond, the question says, right, show the kind of orbit overlaps in all the bonds in this uh, compound, right? So now, when you look at this part, when you look at that part there, so the hydrogen is going to be, it's the S orbit that is taking part in that bond. But when you look at the carbon in that case, when you look at the carbon in that case, so how do you determine how carbon is hybridized? You count the number of connections. So there's that one. So you count the double bond as one. So one, two, and three. So the carbon is actually sp what? The carbon is sp2. I, yeah, sp2 hybridized. Meaning that one of the sp2 orbitals, hybridized orbital is going to overlap with the s orbital there. Okay. So basically, when you go to the energy level diagrams for the carbon in such a case, um, you are going to see that um, since you know that in the outermost shell, you have the two S orbitals with two electrons there, then you have uh, three P orbitals as well. Okay, and how many electrons are there? They're just two. Okay, so when they tell you SP2 hybridized, what are they telling you? They're telling you that one of the S orbitals, so this one basically is going to move up, then two are going to drop from what? From the ones there. Okay. So these two electrons will move. Okay. Then we have one there to drop. Okay. So these are two electrons. Then uh, how many electrons are coming from the from there? So these are two. I've shown them. Okay, something like that. So what is going to happen is the bond being formed by the hydrogen there. This hydrogen will just have to bring one electron there. That's what is going to happen. Okay. So. Only two of the P orbitals on top there have what? Have been dropped. The empty one and that one there. Those are the only ones that have been dropped for the sp2 hybridization of carbon. So the double bonds now is the one that is going to use this one. The other double bond there between the carbon. That's the one that is going to use that one. That's the way it works. Okay. So we are going to show you this is it. So these orbitals are called sp2 hybridized orbitals. So that's why we are trying to show that it's actually S and SP2 uh, orbital overlap for that part. I need also to mention, uh, when you talk about that one, it looks a bit unique as well, the carbon to the oxygen kind of orbital uh, overlap. So when you look at that carbon, of course you're able to see that it's kind of straightforward, right? The carbon is 1, 2, 3. So we're going to say it's the carbon is sp2 hybridized. But when you look at the oxygen there, it's unpredictable. We can't say it's as S. Okay? That can be deceiving because are we, sure, are we so certain that uh, it's actually the, the S orbit that is going to take part in the overlap? So when you show the electronic configuration of the oxygen, it will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p what? 2p4. Yes, something like that. So now, what is going to take part is actually what? When you look at this diagram. So it's actually the P orbit that is going to take part in what? In the in that kind of uh, orbit overlap. Okay. So since two electrons are going to be donated, and if you show the energy level diagram of the P orbitals, they're, go they're going to be like this for oxygen. There are three. And how many electrons are there? There are four electrons there. So... One is already what? One is already satisfied. So these two are the ones that are going to take part in the double bond. Receiving electrons from us, from the carbon there. Okay. So now, so it's a P orbital that is taking part in the hybridization. So therefore, say SP2 to what? To P kind of orbital what? Overlap. That's what 
you can say about that. So that's what it actually focuses on. So orbit overlaps, look at the orbitals that are taking part in the bond formation. 